idle is accelerating running away. For the second episode on the S10 Blazer, I'm gonna go ahead and address the runaway idle. We've got a couple things we're gonna work through and go through the vacuum system. We're gonna go through the IAC, throttle position sensor, and the map sensor. I do check some other parts, I might not show them all. I had a very hard time finding information on this generation of the 2.5 Iron Duke. I ended up having to find some things on actually on the older Firebird forums, so I have found very little on the S10. Hope you enjoy it. Like, share, subscribe. I'm on Instagram, I'm on Facebook. Let me know what you want to see. Thanks for watching. So I printed out what I hope is the vacuum routing for this, but I'm afraid it's for a 2.8, not a 2.5. I'm having a hard time finding exact stuff, but I believe I'm going off using the fifth line. This is actually for the map sensor. And I'm not sure why, but this thing is routed. There's about four extra feet of this hose. It goes down the other side of the engine, up and around. So this line is actually, the hard line piece is broken right here. I'm gonna switch this around, see what other stuff I might have in the garage, because I should be able to make something to fit this hopefully correctly and get this running right. And this thing is on there. <clears throat> oh, there we go. That'll work. I'm gonna trim this line down. Let's see if she idles any better. I'm still gonna have to do other things, but I wanna trace it down as I'm going. <laughs> so she still has a runaway idle. Trying to trace all the vacuum lines down. And I noticed that this it one is loose. It's not sealing. Appears to go down to the EVAP canister or the fuel canister. There's a ball and there's a, a, a return canister system there. So I'm gonna see if I have something I can fix this with. That didn't work. Okay, so I print out what should be the correct vacuum schematic for this engine. This first line, go, which should go to the map. This is our second line. This line goes to our EGR. Third line, PCB. Fourth line goes down, comes out here, and goes down to the canister. Fifth line, the goofy routing. This is how it was. There's 400 feet of tubing. Goes up and around to this hard line, which loops back over under the EGR, and is this little line should be going to the thermatic valve, which is on the air cleaner unit. I believe I have all the vacuum correct now. Let's go on the map, EGR, P PCV. This is going to the canister. This is going up over into this line, which is going back here and up into what I believe is the thermistor. I'm gonna hook this stupid thing up for the nine millionth time. Start it and see where we're at. Hopefully at least I can cross this off. We might still have issues, but we'll see. Let's see what we get. Well, it still has runaway idle. So I'm gonna check and make sure nothing got jostled loose. I just keep checking around and see what I can find. I'm fairly sure I have a, a vacuum leak. I'm just gonna keep trying to find it. I'm gonna start plugging some of the ancillary vacuum lines and see if I can narrow it down just a couple of things and cut off some of my options. Maybe it's leaking somewhere and I just can't see it. You probably can't hear it. I know you can't see it, but there's vacuum at the booster. So at least that circuit's okay. I'm just gonna do this methodically one thing at a time and see if anything works. So apparently it's not this feed system. I'm gonna try plugging the map sensor off. It 
It ran like crap, but it's sort of idled and it raced again. Hmm. Let's try with the map sensor plugged back in. At least the signal going to this is correct. Let's try the EGR. That would be a no. PCB valve. And no. The line going to the canister. I'm running out of vacuum lines. Canister and the other side. Well, this is fun. This is hermetic piece. I'm out of ideas. This is a TPS or throttle position sensor. It's located on the driver's side of the throttle body assembly. We're going to check our TPS sensor for signal. I'm going to find the hot. Nope. Nope. Yep. The bottom lead is the hot signal. I don't have back probes, but I'm going to try this as best I can. Our key is in the on position. Should be smooth. As we open the throttle. Well, the TPS seems to be testing out correctly. The map seems to be testing out correctly. So I'm running through what else it could be. I'm likely going to have to do some more research on these one barrels and idle air control and some other things. I jumped in the blazer to check one more thing and lo and behold on the passenger seat I hadn't recognized it before. It's an IAC. So they were tracing down some bad parts to start with. So I'm on the right path. I'm just wondering how far they got before they gave up. I'm going to go ahead and pull the IAC, clean it up, see if I can get it to work right before this is a really horrible location for this and I don't have any wrenches quite big enough. Gotta improve my wrench game. Oh, it's finger tight. That's interesting. I didn't expect it to be super tight, but I didn't expect it to be finger tight. Left the IAC sitting in carb clean for about five minutes. I'm gonna brush it off, clean it up. I'm also gonna clean up the hole that it fits into in the throttle body. It cleaned up very well, which leads me to believe it's a fairly new sensor. So probably unless it's bad or unless they didn't clean out the opening that it fits into, this might not fix it. You're not gonna be able to see much of this. See if it made any difference. See if it helped. I think it's idling. Normally. Oh, holy crap. Still not perfect, but it's a hell of a lot better. I'm gonna start again, do a few more things, clean a little bit up, and hopefully it keeps improving. I'm gonna see what I can do about this return spring. I'm not sure what the hell this is supposed to do. The spring I used for the throttle is not strong enough, so I got a pack. We'll see what we can do. That wasn't good. Probably gonna be the one I need that just fell down into the black hole. Thankfully, it fell under the car and rolled loose. Here goes nothing.
So I had to pull the IAC pintle out. Now I'm gonna have to fiddle around with it, drive back and forth up and down the driveway a couple times, and hopefully it'll start to learn where it's at and maybe it's fixed. Now it's idling too low, but I'm hoping a little bit more time letting it run, letting it idle, playing with the adjustments a little bit will get it to where it needs to be, but it's definitely a step in the right direction. So this is the IAC. Well, this is the old one. Thankfully, I had one to play with. And this is the Pentel. I had to gently pull it out and then reinstall it. It's definitely corrected a lot of the idle issues. I'm glad I had this one to try to learn with because when I did it the first time, it was like this and I pulled it right out. So if you're going to do this, be very, very careful. Just wiggle and it'll pull out slowly. Don't do that. I'm gonna hit the chrome on the wheels with some steel wall and get them cleaned up. They're not perfect, but they're perfect from afar. So going from the wheels looking like this to the wheels looking like this. I'm going to go ahead and put the plastic shell back on the tank before I forget. Shell was done. The owner just came by. We took it for a ride. It's improving as we drive it, which is great. He wants me to do a couple more things to it, so there's going to be another S10 Blazer video. Thanks for watching the second episode of the Blazer. The third and final episode is going to cover junkyard fabrication. I ended up going to a local junkyard. I got some parts to modify the power steering system because it was broken. I couldn't find anything to replace what was there. Nobody makes it. And I had found very little online about how to fix what was there. I ended up getting some parts from a mid to late 90s Firebird that I ended up adapting. Also, I do end up fixing the hatch with the broken handle. This one isn't broken per se, but this one's coming up again. My daily driver that I couldn't sell. A couple things came up, so that'll be in a future video. Like, share, subscribe, follow us on all the other media stuff. Thanks for watching. One last note, my next build series is going to be on this bad boy, and it is not your normal older AMC.